I say we build a center console. We're going to make it out of some one by lumber for the framing and we're going to cover it in plywood and we're going to cover that plywood with uh, poly resin and fiberglass. We're going to cover that with epoxy primer. We're going to cover that epoxy primer with some paint and then we're going to add all our doodads. We're going to use glue and we're going to use our finish nailer just to hold everything together till the glue sets. This might be the smallest center console in history, but the measurements I've got worked out 18 wide, 20 inches high. It's going to have a little tilt to it, you know. We're going to use that sheet of half inch plywood over there for the sides. 17 and a half. half. Let's go make some cuts. All right, we've got a fairly neat square base, sort of square. Nineteen and seven eighths. Nineteen and seven eighths. Seventeen and three eighths. Eighteen and a sixteenth by eighteen and seven eighths. Eighteen and one eighth. These sawhorses suck. I need to get some better ones. See how I'm putting that glue right over that seam? It'll make it seem waterproof. Sorry. Things are not as they seem. <laughs> oh. It's already heavier than I want it to be, but it's got to support the throttle. That whole throttle assembly over here and the steering wheel in the middle. All right, what we have here is a box. Woo! A box. <laughs> Fair warning, more 80s on the way. round over these edges with a round over bit so that this fiberglass will roll right over the edge and it'll bond to the corners of the plywood a lot more effectively. <laughs> these voids like that right there that I'm brushing this resin into that doesn't happen with marine grade plywood the trade-off is marine grade plywood is twice as much money as this stuff is and if this stuff if I'm not able to rot proof it well enough I'm not gonna replace it with marine grade plywood I'll end up replacing it with some poly panels or something like that get some plastics involved HDPE high density polyethylene is a good product for this kind of stuff it's the same thing as like uh, they call it starboard it's just a plastic sheeting that you can get in thicknesses I've, I mean I've seen it 
as thick as two inches and you can actually fiberglass over it too i may end up building a boat completely out of that stuff but yeah all these little voids they don't do you any good so they're gonna have to be filled and so that you know again another trade-off is you spend more time laboring with this kind of plywood to fill voids and cracks and crevices and stuff like that just depends on what's more important to you your time or your money me my money's more important at this point we got plenty of time just don't start getting too thick to mess with you're gonna want your earbuds in for this next one for today that's enough work i'm tired of working no more work